is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with some surgery or uh, i guess you could call it surgery whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter man we are back today with a brand new wwe action figure tutorial slash surgery fix-up style video for you and we've done this in the past with multiple people i feel like roman reigns is always crowding up these videos he's always just ready to go tribal chief i have a lot of roman reigns figures i have a lot of tribal chief bloodline and, and guys adding up the list there and we we always have those types of videos where I've, I've taken a Roman Reigns Elite, fixed him up, fixed him up nice, sent him on his merry way. And today we're going to do a little bit of the same, but today's subject is different because we have Brock Lesnar here, or the Beast Incarnate. Lots of WWE Brock Lesnar's right here, man. He's just become one of my favorite guys to collect. I, I don't know how to explain it really, but with the first Ultimate Edition, this right here, this is the Ultimate Edition Series 4 Brock Lesnar. With this figure, I thought that this was the best Ultimate. This used to be one of my favorite Ultimate ultimates and you looked at this figure and you were like damn dude how can they really get any better than this this figure just looks so john brown good it looks it looks incredible this figure just looks simply amazing and so how could they get better than this you know how could they do one better and then they took it to this figure which is the recently released figure you can get at retail and it is the Ultimate Edition Series 15, I do believe, Brock Lesnar. I just love how seamless it is. I love how the quality of the plastic... Like, if you feel this Ultimate compared to other Ultimates or other WWE figures, this figure just has some sort of feel about it that just feels incredible, and I really can't describe it. It's just, just like the plastic is better, the quality in which this figure exists. So, that all being said, anytime I come across this figure, I usually I try to purchase it unless it's just ridiculous, but you guys can see I have one copy there, I have one copy here, I have one copy here. So I bought another one of these, and the reason I bought it is because it was marked off like 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon the other day, and I had to, I don't know if it's there anyway, like I don't know if it's still there, so if it's not there, I do apologize, but if it is there, you definitely want to go grab it. If you're sleeping on this figure, don't. It was my number one ultimate of 2022, and it's just amazing, man. I love this figure. I say all that to say... We've had a lot of Brock, and today we're going to fix this guy up, and I'm excited for it. If you guys want to follow along at home, if you guys are wanting to participate in this fix-up, if you want to do so for yourselves, I guess you don't have to use this figure specifically, but I would. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have this Ultimate Brock, or you, know, you have another Brock Lesnar you want to use, and I'll go into why I'm choosing this one, and it may not work out completely, and this video may be for not, but... If you take this Brock Lesnar and you want to fix it, I'm, I'm using the Ultimate Edition. If you guys want to use a different one, I wouldn't use the jeans one. You know, we want to leave him in his jeans. He looks good. You could use you could use a Lesnar that doesn't have the shorts, and it's probably better to do that. However, today, man, we're going to be making a promo gear Brock Lesnar. And I know you're like, my God, another promo gear. But I like the promo gears, man. I like the promo gears. They just, they, like, I don't know. They kind of complete it. You know, anybody can get a wrestling action figure. I like the backstage, the uniqueness the one of one. So what you need to complete this is a Brock Lesnar figure, preferably the Ultimate Edition here. I'm really looking forward to the... See, this right here was a version I made back in the day. So we're going to basically make an updated version of this Suplex City Brock. But if you guys know anything about the Brock Lesnars of old, their feet like slide around. Like this one right here is on ball joints and he's got the black jogging pants. It's not a bad figure perhaps, but it just slides around a lot and it gets on my nerves. And I would have just taken the Ruthless Aggression Elite that we just got and uh, all that, but I didn't want to acetone the black wrist tape off. If I had a second version of that figure, I might have done that, but you guys know as well. As I do, they just announced that there is a Brock Lesnar Ruthless Aggression Ultimate coming. So I figured, hold off on the Ruthless Aggression. Let's make a more modern Brock and just kind of take it from there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this guy, put him in the promo gear. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to take the Booker T Ruthless Aggression Elite Pants, which are these white sweatpants. Brock Lesnar did used to wear black sweatpants. He's worn the white before. I think the white's going to look really clean, so I'm excited to use the white sweatpants. And then I have the Ultimate Edition shirt from his Series four figure which is over here so this 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 shirt right here came with this figure right here and i don't use it so i figured why not take it i need to get a custom shirt like i don't i don't really care for this shirt to be honest with you i need to get like the suplex city like birmingham edition or like one of his updated shirts or something but you know what we're just gonna f it today not only are we doing that man i have an idea where we can take you're probably wondering what hands i'm gonna use i'm not using regular hands man i'm using elite 100 andre the giant hands so i'm going andre the giant elite 100 hands booker t ruthless aggression elite pants and this custom shirt to make a really sweet af brock lesnar elite or ultimate fix up in this case and since i already have two ultimate editions like this i figured i could sacrifice this one 
and make my own fix up. So my only worry about this one is the white pants. I don't know if putting this on here, like you know how like wide these shorts are. This may like impede it from like looking good. It may look stupid as hell and it may make me sick. However, we're gonna try it anyway and I'm just gonna shut the hell up and do so. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop off the gloves. So I'm gonna aim this down a little bit here. What we're gonna do is go ahead and pop off the gloves here. And once I pop off the gloves, we can take off these gauntlets, which is really easy. I, I just love that, man. Anytime they can do that, they need to continue to do so. I don't know where that gauntlet went now. Oh my god, bro. Where did that go? Dude, if, that, if I lost that gauntlet, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Hopefully, it's just laying around here somewhere. But we got the one gauntlet off. Now, we got to get the other gauntlet and glove off. And, dude, like, where? Okay, I see it. It's behind that Brock foot right there. So, that's good. So, sliding off the other gauntlet. Very easy. Not nothing crazy. Almost lost that gauntlet as well. About to... Mm. So, after that gonna take the Andre the Giant hands. These should look really good and scale, so that's what I'm really excited about. And I'm actually, I'm actually intrigued that we can give the white trusty hairdryer the day off today because I really didn't want to get him out there. You know, we didn't have to switch any legs or do anything wild, so that's good. But popping in the other hand there, look at that. I mean, that already works for me. I don't even need anything else. I just like having the gloveless legendary, like he's about to murder your entire family. But uh, now we can take these boots, and what I'm going to do for these boots is just point them down. He does have the Ultimate Edition boots, but that looks so weird just looking at Brock Lesnar have his feet pointed down, but I don't know which way these face, so I guess I'm just going to wing it completely. Also, this waistband is going to be super tight around this Brock Lesnar because this, you, you guys know that the Brock Lesnar crotch piece is a lot bigger than a standard crotch piece because he's a mountain of a man. So there's that as well, but we're just going to slide these shoes on here and then see if we can get this just pulling up. And the pants kind of look see-through, but while I'm trying to get these pants on, I guess I can discuss with you guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so excited about what reveals we're going to see at WrestleMania Axis and like what exactly everything looks like. I don't know if it's going to be render images and I, even though I will be there attending in person, we're still going to do news videos. I'm still going to react to what we saw. I'll of course get in-person clips for you guys, so that'll be amazing as well. So lots of videos to come from that trip, of course, but I'm just intrigued to know what we're getting, what it looks like, and we're going to cover it here all on the channel. So be sure to tell, turn on your bell notifications because we're going to cover the entire weekend and I can't get these damn pants up. And it's kind of happening the way I thought it would happen or the, the fears that I had. And now I'm going to have to cut the camera until I get these damn pants on. All right, I finally got them on there. And you can kind of see like the silhouette shining through there. I'll show it in different lighting though. I mean, like I have these bright AF lights on here and stuff like that. So that may be what it is. But they don't look bad on there. They actually conform nice to the body. Like you're not going to be able to super articulate without the pants sliding down just a little bit. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But it doesn't look half bad. I actually like it. So there's that Brock. And now we're going to put on the shirt. And then we're going to have this beautiful looking bra. I mean, he looks beautiful shirtless. What do you mean by that? Putting this on here, sliding the shirt. All right, man, here is the final product. Look at this, man. Look at how beastly this looks. All puns intended, man. Looks fantastic. The hands are scaled well. I love the way that the Suplex City shirt looks. I like how you have the tattoo coming up through the bottom there. Again, man, do you think, like, if, if I'm thinking Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Brock Lesnar, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot like the Ruthless Aggression Elite, and I don't know if they would give him, like, interchangeable arms with wrist tape and non-wrist tape. You know what I mean? Like, that would be very odd. But... He didn't wear black wrist tape with this getup. So if they give us a cloth shirt and jogging pants to go with that ruthless, you know, that ruthless aggression Brock, I guess if I had to think about it and like put a lot of focus on it, they're probably not going to give us white jogging pants. But I'm it, once we get that figure in hand, I'm going to take these white jogging pants off, put it on that figure with hopefully a cloth. Here comes the paint shirt, an undisputed championship, some new head sculpts similar to this one, you know, a pissed off, maybe like that. Here comes the pain cover style face, and that'll be beautiful. But if you take uh, the Beast right there, you got him there, and then you got both his championships you can throw in there, even though we know the accuracy. But look at that right there, dude. Oh my lord, what a beast of a man. Hold the championships. And of course, you don't have to put the fists in there. I just think it was pretty accurate for Brock Lesnar. But now we have a dual-fisted, no gloves, no BS Brock Lesnar, and there's like the 360 there. So now I have another fix-up Brock Lesnar. I just like Brock Lesnar figures, man. They're just very quality, and this Ultimate's one of my favorite Mattel releases ever in terms of quality and how good it looks. So uh, now I just need the Chase. I never hawked down the, oh my god. I never hawked down the Chase Elite 99, and that bothers me. So I definitely need to get that, but you know. There's all of our different Brocks, and then you got even the Elite 96 over here, and you got Cowboy Brock, which I need to get another Cowboy hat for. 
Just look at this. Look at all the beautiful, beautiful products, man. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to our patrons. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, definitely go check that out. Lots of bonus content for the channel behind the scenes things for sale there's just a lot of stuff over there that you guys can get benefits from so definitely check that out link in the description below as well as checking out some mdt merch but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on the brock lesnar down in the comment section below i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll see you in the next video we'll never back down.